Sun, One in a Billion, written by Stacy McAnulty and illustrated by Stevie Lewis. Sun, One in a Billion, written by Sun with Stacy McAnulty, illustrated by Sun and Stevie Lewis, from the collection of Our Universe. Once upon a time, about 4.6 billion years ago, a magnificent and important star was born. And that magnificent and important star was me, your son, with a capital S. Yes, I am a star. Star, first definition, a massive and luminous ball of gas, full of energy, Second definition, an outstandingly talented and popular performer. I fit both definitions. The Milky Way galaxy has over a hundred billion stars. That makes me one in a billion, or um, one in a hundred billion. I'm not the biggest, so what? I'm not the brightest, who cares? Not the oldest, whatever. But I am the most important, at least to you earthlings. Can you hang out for eight minutes? That's how long it takes my light to reach Earth. Yep, I give you heat and light. You're welcome. I'm so important that earthlings should name a special day in my honor. We can call it Sunday. Oh, wait. I'm famous for my heat and light, but I also hold our entire solar system together. Scientists call it gravity. What can I say? The planets are attracted to me. And because I'm the center of our solar system, life revolves around me, literally. You've got the sun in the middle, Mercury, where a mercurial year is 88 Earth days, Venus, a Venusian year, is 225 Earth days. Earth, Earth year, 365 Earth days. Mars, a Martian year, is 687 Earth days. Jupiter, a Jovian year, is 4,333 Earth days. Saturn, Saturnian year, 10,756 Earth days. Uranus, Uranian year, 30,000... 687 Earth days, and Neptune, Neptunian year, 60,190 Earth days. Look, they all go in the same direction. Those other stars are far, far away from Earth, which makes them look teeny tiny and not so important. I'm close, a mere 93 million miles from Earth. To any earthling, I look like this. But to Neptunians, I'm 2,795 million miles away, and I look like this. If there were Neptunians, there's no known life on Neptune. Technically, I'm a yellow dwarf star, but I'm still a big, big deal. Name, Sun. Type, dwarf star, date of birth, long ago, G2 Milky Way, plasma donor. If I were the size of a basketball, Earth would be smaller than a grain of sand. You could fit about one million Earths inside me. But you can't fill me up with Earths because I'm hot stuff. Compare. A hot summer day, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. A pizza oven, 700 degrees Fahrenheit. The orange-yellow flames in a campfire, about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Me, about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface. I can melt diamonds. Me, at my center, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Ancient Earthlings thought I circled the Earth. Can you imagine me revolving around Earth? 
and some think that I sit in the sky all day and all night. But I got moves, baby. I'm spinning. And because I'm not solid, my middle moves faster than my top and bottom. About 25 Earth days to rotate at the center, and about 36 Earth days to rotate at the poles. Don't try this at home. I'm not only important, I'm generous and good-looking. Sun rises, sun sets. Northern lights, southern lights. Sit back and enjoy the show. Sometimes I like to be mysterious and sneak away for a few minutes. Solar eclipse! But don't worry, I'm just behind the moon. While I'm astronomically bigger than the moon, 400 times wider, the moon is astronomically closer to Earth, almost 400 times closer. My neighbor stars have fancy names. Meet Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri A, and Alpha Centauri B. There's Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri B, and Alpha Centauri A. Me, I just need three letters. Give me an S. Give me a U. Give me an N. What's that spell? Sun! Sun, sun, he's our star, light and heat from afar. Please note that's a capital S. I am important. Not to hog the spotlight, but I've still got it. I'm the same hot, bright star I've always been. According to the Milky Way Herald, a stable star is a good star. You don't want your sun getting hotter or cooling off. That would be really messy. So grab your shades. I plan to be in the biz for another five billion years. You and me, we've got a bright future together. And here we have a letter from our author. Dear Reader, I love our son, and I think he deserves a name. Perhaps Buck or Reginald or Mostest Importantest Centauri. Earth, our very own Planet Awesome, would not exist without Sun. And without Earth, there would be no chocolate chip cookies, picture books, or frisky puppies, which are a few of my favorite things. So I guess I need to say thank you, Sun, with a capital S. Thank you for light, heat, energy, and the gravity that keeps Earth revolving at the most perfect distance from your super-hot surface. Too close, we'd be scorched. Too far away, we'd freeze. You're one in a billion. With gratitude, Stacy McAnulty, author and frequent wearer of sunblock. P.S. Scientists are always making discoveries. As technology improves, we continue to learn more about our universe. Every attempt was made to bring you an accurate numbers and facts. We checked, double-checked, and triple-dog-checked. So in the future, if you hear that an astrophysicist has better information, feel free to write in this book. Unless you borrowed the book from a friend or a library, then just write down the new information on a sticky note and put it inside. Thanks! Q&A with the star of our book, Sun. Get it? Star of our book. Question 1. Who is your favorite planet? And remember, this book will be read mostly by Earthlings. A. Answer from Sun. Of course I don't have a favorite. Each is special and kind of puny. By mass, I make up 99.8% of the entire solar system. That's like asking a human to select a favorite fingernail. Question 2. You've been around for nearly 4.6 billion years and are expected to shine at least another 5 billion more. How do you stay so enthusiastic? Answer from our son. I like to keep moving. 
as you have read, I rotate, but also about every 11 years, my poles change magnetic polarity. Positive becomes negative, and negative becomes positive. This causes impressive solar storms. I also orbit the Milky Way, taking Earth and all my planets with me. That is a long trip, about 230 million years. Question 3. From the outside, you look like a giant, fiery ball. But what are you really made of? Answer. Mostly hydrogen and some helium. Question 4. When young earth artists draw you in a picture, what color do you prefer? Answer. Technically, I'm a yellow dwarf. From space, with no atmosphere in the way, I'm basically white. But without me, Earthlings wouldn't see any colors. I'd be too dark. So use any crayon. I don't mind. I would recommend adding glitter to any picture to capture my sparkling personality. And question five. Last question. Do you have any advice for our readers? Yes. Never stare directly at me, even during a solar eclipse, because I can damage your eyes. You delicate earthlings can't handle my ultraviolet rays. Also, eat your vegetables. I helped them grow. Sun by the numbers. Age. Scientists estimate sun's age between 4.5 and 4.6 billion years old. That would be a lot of candles on his cake. Radius. Radius is the distance from the center of a circle or sphere to the edge. Sun's radius is 432,169 miles, Earth's radius is 3,959 miles, and the Moon's radius is 1,080 miles. Mass and Volume Mass is the amount of material an object contains. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. A balloon filled with air and a balloon filled with water would have the same volume but the balloon filled with water would have more mass. And a balloon filled with water is more fun. Sun's mass? 1,988,500 times 10 to the 24th power kilograms. Earth's mass? 5,907... I'm sorry, 5.9724 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. By mass, Sun is 333,000 times bigger than Earth. Sun's volume, 1,412,000 times 10 to the 12th power kilograms cubed. Earth's volume, 1.83 thousandths times 10 to the 12th power kilograms cubed, kilometers cubed. By volume, Sun is 1,304,000 times bigger than Earth. And distance. The distance between Earth and Sun actually changes because Earth's orbit is not a perfect circle. It's more of an oval. On average, Earth is 92.96 million miles from the Sun. We also say Earth and Sun are one astronomical unit, one AU, apart. Distance from Sun, Mercury, 0.4 AU, Venus, 0.7 AU, Mars, 1.5 AU, Jupiter, 5.2 AU, Saturn, 9.5 AU, Uranus, 19 AU, Neptune, 30 AU, Pluto, not a planet, 39.5 AU. Composition, astronomers say there are 67 elements in Sun, mostly hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen atoms, 91.2%, helium atoms, 8.7%, other atoms, 0.1%. Atoms are the teeny tiny building blocks that make up all materials. Our solar system, one star, our sun, eight planets, five dwarf planets, including poor Pluto, at least 157 moons, hundreds of thousands of asteroids, comets, and meteors, one you, which makes you important too.